Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Clear the Garage Out vlog. <laughs> We've got some extra bits and pieces in there which we're going to uh, have a look at now. Um, let's just show you that. So here you can see there are two electric bicycles in here. One over this side and one over that side. This one here has an extra rack on the back of it, just there to uh, take the dog basket for little Pippin. So what I'm going to do is just take the things out of the garage and sort of set those up so that you can see um, the, you know, the, the sort of effort and room that we need to get things in and out. So here we go. So there we are, that's the, uh, the bikes out and set up. There is an extra job that we need to do uh, on these because it, the bike with the rack won't go into the garage uh, while, the, while the basket is still on. So you'll notice that these are the Whisper brand of electric folding bikes and this is the 806 Torque model. And to switch it on, press the power button and hold that down for three seconds it'll come on check the battery and you'll see there that the battery indicator says it's got a full battery it's set on assistance level zero at the moment so that's just no motor assistance at all but you can turn that up to one two three four and f for full speed uh, motor assistance pressing the minus button will turn that down uh, we find that setting one or two is great um, if you really need some assistance to go uphill setting three is uh, excellent it's also got a clock which is uh, tells you the current time and a mileometer um, and that can be switched from uh, a trip meter to a total miles so you'll see we've done five miles in total um, you also have here a speedometer um, to reset things, you hold down the plus and minus button. That goes into um, the settings mode where you can set the um, readings to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. You can set the backlight for the LCD display up or down, brighter or darker. You can reset the hours and minutes and then it comes back to the normal display. This will, the power switch uh, single click will turn the trip meter on or the total miles on and that will flip flop between those two. Holding the power button down We'll switch the whole bike off. So we've got the garage emptied out and actually it doesn't look too much. Uh, it, I put it all down here and we've got um, some things that we're that I'm getting rid of like the two old batteries they've got to go back for recycling. Um, I've lost the link to the recycling place so if you know where I can recycle old leisure batteries put that in the comments below please um, because I'd like to get rid of those pretty quick and also there's one or two other bits and pieces that we don't need I've got a, a bottle of screen wash that I've been carrying around for a year I've, I've never opened it because the screen wash on these seems to last forever and gets filled up whenever it goes into the garage for servicing and stuff like that so that would probably go um, so this is what an empty garage in a Comanche looks like uh, that you know that's it's got a larger door this side smaller door the other and a bit of a underneath there there's a bit of a sort of cubby hole where we can put things so we're going to 
just going to start putting things back in and try and just make the best jigsaw puzzle we can. We've got the other side of the garage um, stowed away and you might not be able to see much of what's in there but let me just point out there's the there's the ladder we keep a ladder uh, with us at all times a uh, camping table then the Kadak barbecue is just there and then we've got the sun store solar panel which is over there during our time in Spain will be connected up to the electricity so we won't need the solar panel that much just underneath there you'll see the new uh, trolley jack uh, just nestled in there and above just above there that sort of purple bit there and black that is um, a bag full of electrical cables and things like that but you'll see that if I just pull out a bit from the garage there you'll see that having packed all that stuff away we've still got massive amount of space and pretty much the only thing we've got to fit in that space is two bikes the water hose the washing line and the wind brakes oh and two chairs as well so we're not doing too bad let's get on and do that bit so underneath uh, that, that bit there is sort of underneath the bed and what we've managed to do is get the wind brakes and the washing line plus the uh, washing brush and the broom in there and that's that's a really good place to put them because they're right out of the way and it still leaves all of this space to fit the bikes we've got one chair in just there so we've got the bikes, uh, the water hose, and one other chair. So I'm thinking about putting the other chair over that side. So that will, you know, the chair will fit down, down here. Uh, one bike right up, up there, another bike in, and then a few more bits and pieces around, including the water hose box. We've cleared out the garage and got most of the stuff back in. Um, there's one or two bits and pieces. But I've got one bike in there already and the difficulty that we've had is the um, one of the bikes has the basket on the back for Pippin and that's a uh, well it's fiddly to take on and off um, it's a it's a temporary sort of fix up at the moment because the the proper bike rack uh, to go on the back that allows the basket to fit um, wasn't in stock and we're not going to get that until well probably until we come back from Spain so this arrangement is what it is at the moment but let me just show you um, the garage with the bike in it and then you'll see the other problem with the basket on the back of the other bike here we are with um, we've got the reclining chair over that side we've got the the bike without the dog basket on the back just slotted in nicely and the other reclining chair <coughs> over this side underneath all of this bit here we've got the wind brakes and the um, washing line and uh, yeah oh we've got a couple of uh, sort of washing brushes and and brooms and, and stuff like that as well but let me show you the problem we've got with the other Bike. this is the other bike and you'll see that on the back here we've got the uh, dog basket and what we do is we put our, our sort of cycle helmets and high-vis jackets in there uh, to, just to store them but it does take up quite a bit of room now I know we could take off the uh, the metal cage over the top um, that would just simply unbuckle from there and uh, that might make it a bit more um, compact to fold up but i've not tried folding the bike up with the basket on the back yet so let's just go and try and do that so there you can see it does actually fold up quite nicely 
um, with the basket on but does it fit through the door and actually store in that space so we do have one or two other bits and pieces to go in the garage as well as that bike let's try and put that in so you'll see the problem is um, the height of all this is uh, yeah. probably going to stop it going in and I, I probably should take off the basket Well, the good news is that it does go in with the yes. basket still attached. It's good, yes. It's a little bit of a struggle. Mm. Just find out which way round to get it. But I think if I put it in mm. forwards, like the basket outside first, and then sort of tip it up and, and lay the basket down flat, mm. it actually does go in and it fits in there. And there's more room inside to fit those other things that we need. Let's show you. Mm. That's the basket and we can um, re rearrange all these bits and pieces like there's our sort of cycling crash helmets. They can just pop down there um, along with the high-vis jackets. And that's quite nicely just sorted out of the way. And there's a, there's a huge space just down here that's not used at all. The metal um, cage can, well, I think that can just pop around there somewhere, or yeah, maybe up there. It doesn't, it, you know, you can sort of put it over things and it, it fits and take up that much space. But we do have other things like the um, the hose box this hose box and I'm hoping that I can just pop that down there yep that goes in there and there's our monkey buckets as well these are all extremely useful we've got four of these but there's a load of sort of um, cleaning cloths in there at the moment and they can just pop there and that's pretty much it for what's going into um, the garage oh there's the the Elson uh, fluid and I've recently changed from the blue to the green I want to be a bit greener if I can put it in with the cloth so. yeah. there you go well, that was the day of garage oh, yeah. clearouts mm. and our intro <laughs> to the new electric bikes. Now, I've got to say, yes. the electric bikes have been an absolute uh, brilliant mm. and uh, lucky piece of luck for us. And we have to say a big, huge thank you we uh, and i'm going to be going on about the electric bikes for a few videos over yeah. the next month yeah um we've had donations um from people like you um that's allowed us to buy these we've had um significant um money to help coming to us uh, to help us to obtain the bikes um, so they're, they're, they're brilliant bikes and um, we've got to say a massive uh, thank you really to the people that have helped us in such an incredibly generous way um, and allowed us to get the bikes. Um, we got one each and they are absolutely stunning and superb and we'll go through more of the details of those and tell you where we bought them and where you can get them as well okay 
So that's it, yes. isn't it? That's it for now, yep. It's been yeah. a lovely day, but it's getting a bit cold now. Well, yep. after all that exercise of picking yeah, that bike up, I'm quite warm. <laughs> hmm. However, yeah. if you've enjoyed this video, why not give us a thumbs up? And if you want to follow our journey as we travel around the UK and Europe, living full time in our motorhome, click the subscribe button. And if you want to get reminders, click the bell so that you'll never miss any of our content. But that's it for today. Yep, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. Say goodbye, Wend. Goodbye, Wend. Oh. Uh, and uh, no, say goodbye, Steve. Um. <laughs> goodbye, Steve. Yeah. Bye everyone, thanks for See watching. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Yeah. bye.